So here is my power wall. It is currently charging. It's, you know, going along fine. It's almost full. Um, but I do think I am going to have to pull one of my battery packs and do some checking on it. The pack I have to pull is that second one right there. Um, let me show you what I am talking about. Let's start with the newer side. This is the second pack I installed. You can see how beautifully balanced all the packs are. They're all 4.11. Um, so this whole side has no issues as far as balance goes. Let me grab my ISDT and plug into the other side. Okay, here is the other side. You can see they're all 4.12 except for that second pack. It is 4.06 and it is consistently always out of balance. And um, um, I, and I, uh, you know, I plug in my big ISDT charger and use a balance charge and put all the packs in balance. It takes three days and within a week or two this pack has drifted again so likely that number two pack over there um, something is up with that pack so I am probably going to um, undo those two bolts holding it in remove that wooden slat that safety slat slide the pack out and examine it on my workbench and see uh, if I can see anything visually wrong with the pack and if not, I'll talk about our other steps that we can take to uh, test the pack. Okay, I'm going to beep out the uh, beep out the pack just to see if there's any, um, you know, see if any cells are not connected correctly. Um, although I've done a quick visual inspection on the pack and I don't see any problems. Uh, there we go. So this, uh, actually I can see it right now, this solder joint is not, um, the fuse wire is actually loose and not making contact. So I may have a problem right here. Um, I can actually maybe tell that by looking at the voltage of this battery. Um, let me see here, if I can check the voltage of this individual cell. 4.1 while the other batteries are 4.7 so this battery is not actually in the pack right now because this is a bad fuse wire here I'm gonna have to solder this again this was actually the second pack I made and I didn't yet have my big soldering iron I actually ordered my big soldering iron when I started my first couple packs and because I was having such a hard time um, melting solder on the um, on the bus bar and um, now I you know this is this few this is not making electrical contact uh, and even this next one looks a bit suspicious so I think I might be able to solve my problem by uh, going through and um, just reflowing mainly the the bus bar but some of these some of these uh, other solders don't look that amazing I think I'm gonna go through sold you know reflow this pack and uh, probably just put it back into service. I have done a visual inspection of the batteries and I do not see any any cells that um, sometimes you get some rust showing on the top of the cell that means that electrolyte might be um, spilling out of the pack and that happens maybe you overheated it with the soldering iron um, or it's a cheap battery but these are all LG's and um, I don't see any signs of corrosion on any of the batteries so there's no signs of electrolyte leaking so I think um, I'm just going to go through and reflow and I, we already can tell that that's definitely an issue right there. That battery is not connected. So let me go through, reflow, and um, I might actually put a little charge on this to bring it up in balance with the other ones just so that when I put it back into the pack, it's 
you know hold it it's got the same charge as the rest of the the batteries so i don't have to run a full balance cycle again um so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna reflow this and once i think i've got everything good i'm gonna throw a little charge on here bring this up a few you know millivolts just back up to 4.13 to match the rest of the pack and then i'm gonna throw it into service and we will keep an eye on it Okay, I have uh, reflowed um, most of the bus bar connections. Um, they definitely look better. Um, touched up a few of my spot welds. They're not my best spot welds I've ever done, but uh, well, not spot welds, but never some of my best spot little solders I've ever done. But uh, I've uh, rebeeped the pack. Everything seems to be connected. So I'm going to throw a charger on, bring it up to uh, 4.13 to match the other batteries, and then I'll throw it back into service. Okay, the uh, pack is back, um, back in the uh, power wall. Um, I have not yet turned on any solar and the pack is still, you know, I still have the breakers off, but the pack is back in and it is wired in and I do have the, um, you know, I do have the ISDT hooked up. I did throw a little voltage at it on the bench, um, but you can still see it's a little low. So I am throwing some more voltage at it with these crock leads. You can throw voltage at an individual pack, even though it is seriesed up like this. You can see it is technically connected to the rest of the pack, but I can throw voltage between just those two leads, and that will only go into the second pack. Um, this is the same way a balancer works. A balancer pulls voltage individually from each pack using the balance wires and is able to do it just from an individual pack so we can effectively do the reverse and throw a little voltage at it. I have my ISDT hooked up here um, throwing 1.4 amps at this pack. Um, these are big packs, 80 cells so uh, you know one and a half amps is, is barely making a scratch on this thing so it'll probably take you know although it only has to go up you know, 0 0.02 volts. That'll probably take at least 30 minutes at, you know, a couple amps. So we'll monitor it and wait till it gets to about 1.12. And uh, then uh, I'll disconnect the leads and click in the solar and let the pack resume. But uh, hopefully we've uh, got this thing fixed.